Hello, hi, how are you, and happy Sunday, everybody. It's 12.45. I've been pretty much laying in bed since I woke up at, like, 9. So, you know, I've done nothing. I've been watching videos for the most part and trying to figure out my phone because my phone is kind of still wonky. I don't know if I... I don't remember if I told you about that yesterday, but... But, yeah, I don't have the ability to make calls or text anyone without an iPhone, and I also don't have LTE currently, so... I can't do any of that or anything pretty much unless I have Wi-Fi, so good job, Apple or whoever the, the problem of this is, whatever. It's good taken care of. It's just frustrating because I didn't really want to get a new phone, but if I have to, it looks like I'm going to have to, but um, that's okay. Um, I'm going to start editing in a second. Um, I'm actually going to make some, well, I guess for what time it is, some brunch first. Uh, and I'm going to try my hand at making some French toast and, and see how that goes, so let's... Let's go on this journey together. So first to start off, we're going to be making three pieces most likely because I'm hungry. Um, and we're going to be using this private selection honey oat bread, wide pan bread. So I think it's pretty good. I've made some sandwiches with it and it's I like it. So I'm going to try it out with some French toast. Next we just have some large eggs Kroger brand because like why no, we don't get any other eggs for the most part, or I don't get any other eggs, and then just some milk, some Kroger brand lactose free because we're lactose intolerant, and I don't really have anything special to add to it, so this is pretty much all that all that we need right here, um, at least from what I remember from like how my grandma made it, but we'll see how it goes. I think it's doing quite well so far, sorry, I had some ham in my mouth, but yeah, I think it's going well, unfortunately we can only cook one slice at a time because we don't have any skillets that are big enough to do all three. But that's okay. Um, yeah, and this time I'm, I'm having some ham. It's boar's head, some, what is it, maple honey glazed or something like that. And it's really good. I really like this ham. So, yeah, just kind of waiting at this point. And just, this is the only thing I hate about cooking. And I, I don't mind the whole cleaning thing of it. It's the actual waiting for it to be done. So, I don't know. It's probably worse when I'm just hungry. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. It's going well. I'm watching Sidemen on my laptop. We got setup going right here. Banana. Got some milk, and um, that's a mango fruit smoothie. That's this right here. This Odwala Mango Tango is what it's called, and it's really good. I thought it was real at first, and then I actually read this like description. It says from concentrate, so. Uh, not as healthy as it could be, but still pretty good, and you know, it, it, it tastes good, so that's good. All right, and here's the finished product. Pretty good, if it looks, if I say so myself, I made some ham. Well, I didn't make ham, I cooked some ham, and then a uh, leftover egg. I just kind of put back in the pan and just fried it up, so, oh, it looks so good, I can't wait to eat it. Also, guys, look what came in the other day. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited I just shook the camera, <laughs> sorry. I just saw not too long ago, I was uh, not watching, but I was like updating on my phone selection seeds for the March Madness tournament, and Dayton's in, and like I knew they were going to be, they won the conference, but uh, they're in, and they're a number seven seed, which is higher than I thought they would be. I thought they would be like a nine seed, but they're a number seven seed, that's great. Not so great thing is, is that they're playing Wichita State in the first round, who are notorious for being very, very good in the NCAA tournament, so uh, I hope they do well in that game. If they don't, then we're out. But if they do, we're into the next round, which means we most likely will be out because the round after that is the winner of Northern Kentucky University and Kentucky. And Kentucky is one of the best college basketball teams, like, ever. The program is amazing. Like, I don't, I don't even have words to describe how good that program is. Um, but, I mean, hey, we're in the tournament, fourth straight year. So, that's good. Um, I had something else I wanted to talk to you guys about, and I don't remember what. Um, I don't think this was it, but I did just think of it now, and I want to bring the question up to you guys. Um, I might need a new phone. I don't know yet. I have to wait and see until um, I can go to an AT&T store and see if it's my phone that's uh, messed up for something. And I, we, my dad and I, he works for AT&T, we've kind of determined that it most likely is my phone because when I fixed it the other day, like I said earlier, um, or yesterday, I fixed it. Uh, this morning when I woke up, it stopped working again. Like it stopped being able to uh, send texts, texts, texts out to uh, people without iPhones. Um, 
and also it won't let me use anything other than Wi-Fi, like it won't let me use a, uh, LTE or data, and um, it won't let me make calls. So I, I don't know like how to fix that basically at this point. We're gonna have to go to the store and try to see what they can do for it. Um, but if they can't do anything for it and I do end up needing a new phone, um, I, I wanted to ask you guys, should I stick with, right now I have the iPhone 6, um, I think it's just the 6, it might be the 6S, I'm pretty sure it's just the 6 though. Um, should I go with like the upgrade of it and just get the 7 or do you think I should switch over to like, I know my one friend Brandon said he thinks I should just get a Galaxy and I know my brother has, um, so he's like an S7 or something like that I believe. Um, my parents both have Windows Phone or uh, Androids as well. Um, I'm the only one left in the family that still has an Apple phone. But I was, I was wondering your opinion on it. Should I stick with the Apple product or should I try out uh, something else, something different? Because I haven't had a phone, in, or a new phone rather, in over two years. Um, not that I like, I didn't think I needed one, but apparently I do. So I don't know. Let me, get, let me know what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments. There is one other thing that I wanted to say that I just remembered because I'm going to get dinner now. Um, I like all these, like, let me start that over. <laughs> As all of you know, Daylight Savings Time Spring Forward was tomorrow, or tomorrow was today. Uh, like, clocks changed today. And uh, a lot of people were like, weren't happy about it. I, for one, like, I, I'm kind of indifferent about the Spring Forward. It's fall back, I like, because obviously you get an extra hour of sleep. Not really, but you you're mentally feel like you got an extra hour of sleep. The throat's very bumpy, so I apologize if it's shaky right now. But I actually, I, I'm a fan of Spring Forward for this one reason alone, and that's because the sun sets an hour later, which means you have one hour more of daylight, and that means that Sundays no longer feel like like I can like I'm not productive. Like I can go out and do more things on Sundays because there'll be more daylight, so I can actually like go out and do things for you guys. So that that makes me happy, especially because I haven't had the opportunity to do that yet um, on the vlog. So that's great, and I love that. And yeah. I mean like right away, look at this, look at the sky and the sun that's setting but not quite set yet. It's 622 so like right now by at this point it probably would have not set fully yet but it would definitely almost be completely out of the sky and just like this is just so pretty. Also sorry, just realized I didn't change my car clock so it's actually 722, not 622. So yes, this is about the same as to where it would be, but I have to change my clock now and also I'm not going to drive or yeah, not going to drive and vlog anymore, so I'll let you guys know when I'm there. I know I said I was going to stop, but like look at how pretty the sky looks. It's just so blue and like I love these kinds of clouds, like these wispy clouds like that. It's so pretty. Guys, see that like orangish dot in the sky right there? That's the moon. Look how crazy that looks. Look at that. Pretty sure it's a full moon tonight, too. It just, it's like, it looks better in person. I went by on that tree just then. Um, but, like, that thing is crazy. There's some cloud coverage in front of it that you can probably see a little bit. Wow, that thing's, honestly, I'm in awe of nature. Oh, I went by on the tree. It's a little bit darker, so you can't really see my face, but would that really be called nature? I don't think it would. Uh, that would be what? That would be astronomy technically yeah I think so yeah because astrology is the constellations and all that so yeah I think that's astronomy but still big fan of nature but but yeah that I meant to say a big fan of astronomy so yeah also fun fact I almost uh, was gonna be an astronomy major um, I ended up not doing it because I didn't really look into it that hard and I also learned that for that particular thing uh, you like you basically you need a very strong understanding of like physics and, and just other things like that and most likely have to get your doctorate and stuff like that and I didn't really want to do that so I decided not to based on that mixed with a couple other things. Hey, light! Also in case you were wondering why I was filming again is because I was on my street and now I'm in my garage so, so yeah. I was filming because I knew where I was and I was safe and I knew that there wasn't any traffic around so stay safe and safety first and all that stuff so yeah. I'm still. Just don't do what I do. Got this rest food from this restaurant called Cane's, and it's one of my favorites. And it's a little bit far away, but it's worth the drive. My brother's watching NCIS Los, An Los Angeles. Yeah, Los Angeles. So I have to be quiet now. So shh. That's going to do it for me here tonight um, and the whole day. Uh, it was a good day. It was, it was fairly relaxing. I didn't, well, 
I was relaxing because I didn't really do anything all day. I was really tired for most of the day, and that was probably because of the hour change. Um, but that's okay. I can adjust to that, like today or tonight, whatever. Um, but yeah, I have to work tomorrow from 12 to 6. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be doing, mainly because, again, like my phone doesn't really work the right way it's supposed to. So I don't know how much I'm going to be doing this whole week, like, sort of thing, like, because I won't be able to use it when I'm out or anything, um, or pretty much at all, other than when I'm home or uh, on campus. So we'll see what I actually do. I can still film, and that's the important thing. Um, so that's good, but I won't be able to, like, use it when I go out. So we'll see. We'll see what I end up doing. But if you like the video, if you go ahead and leave a like, that'd be great. If not, you let me know down in the comments if there's anything I can do to improve. If you're not already not already subscribed to the channel, if you could go ahead and subscribe if you don't want to, it's all right. Uh, but thank you guys for who all have watched, guys and girls, and everyone in between. Um, yeah, thank you and have a good night.